Hi everybody. If you grew up like me watching cartoons, then uh, you're familiar with Lucille Bliss. Maybe not her name or her face, but you've definitely heard her voice. She uh, was actually known as the girl with a thousand voices, and over her long and distinguished career, she as a uh, voice actress, she um, performed in hundreds if not thousands of uh, roles in uh, TV and in movies. She's best known for the two characters that you see there engraved on her tomb. On the left is Crusader Rabbit, and on the right is Smurfette from the Smurfs. Now, Crusader Rabbit was the, uh, the first uh, cartoon made for TV. Now, it aired in 1950 through 1952, so a couple of years before I was born, but I do remember watching Crusader Rabbit, so I guess by the time I was old enough to start watching cartoons, it was in reruns. And uh, as far as the Smurfettes, I wasn't watching cartoons back in the 1980s uh, when uh, uh, the Smurfs uh, came out. Uh, they came out in 1981 through 1989, and uh, of course I've heard the Smurfs, as I think probably everyone has, uh, but uh, I never really watched them. But one of my subscribers is a fan of the Smurfs and suggested that I visit her gravesite, so that's why I'm here today. Lucille's final resting place is here at the Hollywood uh, Forever Cemetery, and these are the front gates. So you go in the front gates, you make the first right, and you go all the way down until you see a building, it's a mausoleum, on the left-hand side, and uh, she's right there at the corner, and you can actually see her uh, tomb without even getting out of your car. Now, I found it kind of interesting that the uh, person interred right below her is uh, Sybil Adrian Merritt, who was an actress in the 1940s and 50s. And then to the right of uh, Merritt is Ema Sumac, who was a hugely popular uh, singing sensation back in the, uh, I believe also the 1940s and 50s. And uh, she was an in international uh, singing uh, soprano and uh, performed with some of the biggest names in Hollywood. And she performed at the Hollywood Bowl and uh, Carnegie Hall and uh, many other places as well. Now, the person interred to the right of Lucille is Lola Risti, and uh, I Googled her because I really have not heard the name, but her inscription says she'll be remembered uh, by history for generations. Now, I couldn't find anything about her, so if any of you watching this know, please leave a, a comment uh, in the comments section. I'd like to know who she is. Maybe she's just she'll just be remembered by her family and friends. I don't know, but uh, it makes it sound like uh, she was maybe a, a notable uh, Argentinian. So Lucille definitely seems to be in very good company here. So just to give you an idea of where her tomb is located, uh, I'll uh, pan around so you can see. Uh, so from her um, tomb here, you can see it's open to the street. And then if you go straight down this street and then make a right, You'll, uh, you'll see the entrance of the uh, mausoleum. Now here to the left, right past uh, these structures here, is the, uh, the front gate, right where those large palm trees are. So you can see it's right here on the corner. I'll turn around so you can see what I mean. So right there is the corner where she's located. And this is a uh, relatively newer section that's uh, sort of in front. I guess it's sort of connected to the, uh, uh, the older mausoleum, which you'll see the entrance to here. And then just right to the left of the entrance is uh, Judy Garland's new um, section or uh, pavilion.
So thanks for joining me today. And uh, if you like this video, please share it with a friend and give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you next time.